And three, two, one. We're shooting now live. Here we go. Okay, I got sweatpants on, so that's how we're doing this one. Um, Who are you? I'm John McCauley with McCauley Roofing, Rough Construction Podcast. Um, first episode. I wanted it to look as rough as possible. This is our rough end. Oh, I don't even know if I, where should I sit? Where you were sitting. Just where I was sitting? Down, can you move over a little bit? I'll be out of the way here. All right. So the idea behind the podcast is that we'll kind of market the business of roofing, but we'll also help other people out that want to call in and talk about roofing or want to figure out how to set up their own business or set up their own podcast or help somebody else in whatever trade field that they have so they can call in because we get questions all the time hey uh charlie one of our customers this is a big riddle going on and i'd like to help him out with it his energy bill is too high so what we were trying to do was close up his garage because his garage lets a ton of heat out or AC out uh, and it's really hot. So somebody else suggested put a wall unit in and that's going to bring your AC bill down because his air handler is in the garage that's not insulated. The guy I brought for seventh grade career day had kind of the same thing. Stevie Sophia, Sophia Collision. He brought, uh, he had a radio show Saturday mornings that were, uh, people called in and, um, yeah, he, he helped them figure out whatever was going on with the car. Um, I don't know if he was mob connected or not. Anyway, not a swear word. Um, Potentially. Okay. We'll take that out. Um, if we if we remember. There's no rough cuts other than you know, I messed up the first video already, but Okay. You you it's rough construction. <laughs> this is how I felt when I was in college. While you're tapping. Hey students, where are all the where are all the parties at with the drugs and the and the ecstasies? Yeah, yeah, we are. We're demonetized already. Briefly introduce yourself and your background in construction and roofing. Okay. I got started after I got out of the Marine Corps and started painting houses. And it was a pretty easy job. It was con, uh, college pro painters. And uh, two dudes from high school were on the rugby team. Mark and Nick. And we would paint houses. And college pro painting was the uh, like cheapest, lowest bidder kind of deal. Um, I was a bit wild um, after getting out of the Marine Corps, so painting houses was tons of fun uh, because they didn't drug test, so that's why I did that. Um, it was like 10 or 15 bucks an hour, and sweet. And then from there, I just kind of tried every trade. Uh, I was a laborer. I worked for this bricklayer. <laughs> he was younger than me, uh, and we were doing a job and it didn't last long. He, uh, we're like three quarters of the way done with a, of a job. This is in New York. And he just comes in the next day. He's like, hey man, uh, I'm going to rehab tomorrow. So you're, just, you're gonna have to finish the project. We're doing pavers and I'm just carrying bricks for you. Like I'm brick here to here and putting them down a little bit, but no clue what I was doing. 
Um, so he spent like the whole day getting high and he's like, don't worry, I'll send my cousin and this other dude and they'll help you out. And I was like, oh, okay. Cause one of his cousins was like a legit bricklayer. Well, it wasn't that cousin. It was a paranoid schizophrenic cousin, uh, which nothing against paranoid schizophrenic people. They're great, but a little bit of a heads up would be cool. Right. Uh, the dude was probably 80 pounds, like 5'10". Strange, <laughs> very strange, very lanky. Doesn't sound like he had Yeah, not the guy you want to fight with. Fight against, yeah, but not have on your team. Um, and the other dude, and they were kind of just like super stoners like lazy not like not like they smoked and had superpower and they were like great um bricklayers so they come to the job they're constantly late and like it's just stuff's not getting done the other the boss is in rehab so we can't talk to him and we have these pavers like all set up, but they're not tampered down and they're really, they're unfinished. And we come back the next day and there's another crew working on the house and they have set up all their stuff like picks and ladders and scaffolding on these bricks that are unfinished and not tamped down. And they're hanging siding on this addition. And we're like, Oh, I was like, Oh, this is, this is a scam operation here and all this has to get redone now and so his other cousin who was a legit bricklayer came and was like dude yeah i would just walk away from this um so he gave his other cousin the paranoid schizophrenic the little remaining amount of money that was there and left in the project that he just did a bunch of drugs with all the rest of the money I think it was like $700. And he comes to me and he's like, all right, cool, man. So you're good. You'll take uh, 400 bucks for the week. And, and then him and I will split like the rest. Cause they only worked a couple days. And I was like 50 hours into the project. And it was like 10 bucks an hour. And I was like, uh, we got to the bank and he got the money out. He's like, oh dude, so you're good with 400. And I was like, yeah, man, uh, I need $550. That just barely covers my hours. He's like, what, dude? I thought you were... No, man, I thought you said 400 And I was like, you can take that up with your cousin, dude, but I'm leaving here right now with $550 <laughs> because you suck. Um, one way or another. So I got this camera. It does. Okay. Five dollars in them. Nice. Someone's got to keep a track of that. Um, so I got $550 and I walked away from that and never turned back <laughs> to doing pavers. And then from there I started roofing. Uh, moved to Buffalo. Started roofing with a buddy from the platoon. His dad had an awesome family run roofing company and that's how I got my start and that was in 2013 was 11 years ago uh, and then just kept doing construction moved down to Florida worked for an awful roofing company that was like really huge and did all sorts of insurance scammy kind of things um, I'm not sure if I should name that roofing company my lawyer is telling me no no don't do it don't hint at what their name should be Z zenith no okay we'll leave it out um also they have a popular video game it's a free video game you guys can figure it out later don't use it um but no that was that was good learning then from there, I worked for a general contractor. I kept roofing and decided, hey, I could, I could do this. I could not take advantage of people. 
Um, I could not treat people unfairly, and I could show up on time and sober. And um, just jumped into the water, took the risk, and it's great. It's really a lot of fun. And in the first year, I did all everything kind of my, on my own of, okay, now I have to wear 20 hats and uh, met a guy that worked, we worked on a project together and got in contact with him, networked and, and he became my best friend and we roofed together and I love it. Um, he's my number one guy, my bestie. We're, we're like this, num numero unos. And uh, special shout out to you, Mario. You'll be on the podcast. You'll we'll be on the podcast one day. We'll interview you. And uh, maybe that one we, we use Spanish. Yes? I, I'll, I'll use my best Spanish. It'll be a little bit. It'll be a little bit of both. For our Spanish speaking friends out there. Um, yeah, he was on my, he was, on, he, he was the, on the very first roof with me that we did. And it was just him and I doing a 18 square roof on the south side of St. Pete. And I'll never forget, he just looked up at me and was like, I just made the biggest mistake of my life. <laughs> But not really. But then he was like, yo, I can bring my son tomorrow. Like, that probably helped us out to have more than two people <laughs> to do a roof. And I was like, oh, yeah, definitely. Um, and then his son came and awesome guy. And then we were the three amigos, the three best friends. And we fast forward today, today, and we're still going strong. And they been with me through all the battles and and I'll stick with them through all the battles and um, they were there in the worst times they're going to be there in, in the best times that's I think super important when you look at you know building a, a team is is you can't uh, you can't build it with bad people that are going to steal from you or bad people that are going to take advantage of you or be disrespectful to you or yeah, just keep good people around. I think that's the best advice. Um, my dad died when I was 25, and that was his. That was his line: was, "Hey, what's your biggest regret in life?" And it was, "Oh, not cutting bad people out of my life earlier than when I finally cut them out." The camera thing is kind of. Will both of these be up? Will this how this is how it's going to look on YouTube? Okay. Whichever one I look more jacked in. Trick question, I'll jack them both. So, um, that's kind of how I got my start. But I'll tell you what. Um, I understand why they make it difficult to do it. To get a license and to figure out the business part of it. And there will be people that help you out along the way and, and you know, hold on to them and cherish them. Um, people that will give you opportunity and people that will... Um, and some people that are just out to get you. You're a new contractor and they'll take advantage of you. They won't pay you. Or you didn't have your contracts right and you'll you're just kind of figuring it out this is a leather couch so if you hear something it's not a fart it's a fart it's not definitely not but it's the couch, this couch up off the street. um it's a comfortable couch though most comfortable couch i've gotten off the street um it's a little itchy but that's to be expected so we're 14 minutes 14 minutes in Let's go to our segment of okay, breaking two. news in Tampa. Breaking news in Tampa. Local news. Dun, 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 What is that big cloud of smoke over Tampa? 
Is that roof in this? Construction roof? Okay, yes. Uh, industry news and trends, segment one. Discuss recent developments in construction and roofing industry. Highlight any new technologies, materials, or regulations in impacting the field. <laughs> um, well, any warranty you get for a roof is just garbage. Don't eat. I mean, my biggest piece of advice was just find somebody that you trust that says, hey, if something happens, I'll come back here and fix it. But... If a Cat 5 hurricane c comes through, do you get a warranty with that? Do you get the manufacturer's warranty? Is insurance going to cover it? If your roof's 12 years old is, and insurance is going to drop you? I talked to a manufacturer the other day and they're like, yeah, we have a 15-year warranty on our product. Okay. Well, what if the insurance company says in 10 years they're going to drop you? What good's a 15-year warranty? What good is it to pay for all this extra material or all this extra warranty if the insurance company is just like, you know, we said 15 years, but we'll drop you tomorrow if you don't get a new roof. Maybe not tomorrow, but next week, next month, you're up, you're due, that's it. What are you supposed to do with that? I don't... Roof collapses in Tampa. So one injured, uh, one killed, one injured. Roof collapses and remodel. Man killed. This is another one. Uh, no, this is the same art, same collapse. And here is the second one. What did you uh, Google? Uh, roof. Yeah. Roof. That's it. Tampa. Uh, roof. Mary Max Tea Room. Mary Max Tea Room. I hope I didn't do any of these rooms. Gig Harbor House. Man killed when roof collapses in Gig Harbor. Man is dead after a roof collapse in Gig Harbor Friday afternoon about 1.02 p.m. Deputies say the Pierce County Sheriff's Department responded to a reported collapse at home and something something block. According to Sergeant Moss, a roof collapsed on two men who were working on a roof remodel. Both men were 64 years old. One of the men was transported to the hospital. The other man was killed at the scene. That's the whole article? Um, jeepers. Well... So what makes if they were collapse? tied off. Or how can a roof collapse? That is due to structure. Uh, what led the roof to collapse remains unclear. It could be rotten. It could be they were reframing something. What does it say? A 996 square foot single story house. Built in 1963 with three bedrooms and one bath. Single story house. You'd think it'd be like a three story house. He fell through and like really died. Single story house. 996 square feet. That's a... That's a mobile one. Yeah, that's pretty small. It was last sold May 2023 for 625000 Oh my gosh. Mobile vehicle. Jeepers. But, I mean, that begs to say, too, like, okay, if it was sold for 625 2023, yeah, how did it just collapse? It was probably pretty structurally sound. Um, well, that's awful. Maybe it's all a conspiracy theory, and they just collapsed the roof on purpose, and maybe the guy had a gambling debt. I mean, for me, gambling is just all about the rush, man. I tell you what, if I ever make a dime in this roofing thing, I'm going right to the, right to the hard rock. Celo and penny slots are just the biggest rush to me, honestly. But the stakes got to be high. We're talking hundreds of dollars a hand. 
No, I don't condone gambling, and if you have a problem, you should talk to somebody. Preferably at the Hard Rock in Tampa. They got people there. <laughs> uh, okay, Tin Roof. Man injured in fight with security guard at popular Nashville bar dies. Oh, that was the name of the bar, was the Tin Roof. The last one was security at Tin Roof. Okay, so he was not killed. Okay, so that's not really roofing related, but um, but don't name your bar Tin Roof. Right, right, right. Yeah, and definitely not a. Uh, who goes to bars anymore? Stay out of bars. That's that's where the weirdos are. Especially if you're in Florida. Honestly, yeah, let's see what time that happened at, right? Don't go out don't go out after a certain time, guys. What time was it? Any any bets on what time it was? Don't gamble. But uh what time do you think it was? Any guesses? One forty five. Um it's taken me a while to read this. I mean, it's taken a while to download. I'm a really fast reader. Doesn't say, but I, I'm sure you could look it up. Um, I'm going to guess it wasn't like 4 p.m. It's probably a little later. He was always... Oh, man. Okay, well, that's awful. What else do we got here? No injuries reported after shocking roof collapse at Mobile Church. That is in Alabama. The entire center structure of the Greater Deliverance Church of God collapsed into the sanctuary just before 6 Wednesday. No one was inside. But the pastor tells NBC 15 News they had church there just last night. They didn't want to talk about it right now because it's very emotional for them. See all five photos. Whoa! Jeez. Yeah. Google that one. The whole freaking ads. Um, it looks like this. It's just one big roof, right? Long roof like this, like a church. Just the whole middle is just dunk. Just like a little bit here. All this is down and dunk. So that probably was like the trusses just said dunk. Something was not built right. Maybe maybe they didn't put enough nails in it. Um, I worked with I worked with a guy. He was my sensei, um, Padre Todd. Um, shout out to Todd. He'll be on the podcast. He doesn't like to drive that far away from his house, um, but he'll be on the podcast. Maybe I maybe I won't wear sweatpants when he comes. No pants or just different pants. The, uh, more appropriate pants. Yeah. Yeah. You know, how the ladies love construction podcasts and gray sweatpants. That's true. Um. Yeah, put a little something in for the fellas. All right. Um. So about to wrap but, the but but Todd worked with this dude. They were sheeting a roof, and he's like, "Okay, take the nail gun, go nail off all the sheets, right." They just tack the sheet in. You got to go nail all the trusses, right? Renail everything. So he went over the whole roof with the nail gun. Boom, boom, boom. Nailing everything off. And they go back up there and look. And they're like, dude, you didn't nail anything down. He goes, yeah, I did. I, I, I nailed the whole thing. They go, did you put, did you put nails in the gun? And he, he was looking at the tank of the compressor and the hose attached to it. He goes... 
I thought the nails were in the tank. I thought the nails were in the tank, and they came through the hose magically and went through the gun. And, and that, that's got to be... At that point, you've just got to see it all. But he's got a lot of great stories about um, good things and bad things that have happened. <laughs> um, job sites. I mean, he's been doing construction his whole life. Um, told me a story. A dude got a splinter through like his whole entire thigh. Like a two by four broke, and the dude they fell off this thing, and it went a whole two by four went through his leg and out the other side. Ouch. Left a mark. Left a big old... Yeah, he didn't die, though. He was all right. Knock on wood. Everybody's all right. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to go the worst thing that happened to me on the job site. I messed my back up one day. I messed my back up one day, and I was like, man, I hope I can drive home. And I laid in the same spot for like two hours. I just, <laughs> just didn't move. Back problems. I just didn't move. I knew it was going to hurt. And I heard it. And I was just like, well, I'm laying here for a while. <laughs> Todd was there. And he's like, you good? Like, yeah. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be here for a minute. And then I'm, I'm not going to be at work for a minute. I came back. I made it back. I made it back just fine. Uh, so we do have a couple people lined up for the podcast. I'd say we got a good 20 people that want to be on the podcast. That I begged and pleaded for them please to be on this podcast. No, I didn't. I didn't have to. I didn't have to beg and plead. They were. Right, or I was just gonna film it anyway and not tell them. Film without their consent. The American way. Amen. Patriot Act, really. Thank George W. for that one. I'm gonna steer the conversation away from politics. Um, yeah, I said we got a good like twenty people that that are more than willing, and that's something I'd like to have too. Uh, a mentor. Um, myself and somebody else in, in, a, in a position of growing or um, that is kind of like me, roofing still, still get up on the roof, still get a hammer in my hand, like if I'm, if I have to, but I'll tell you what, that's the easier part of, of the job. I thought just, oh, I'll get a roofing license and just put down shingles. Call it a good day. That's the easiest part. Yeah. The hardest part is you have to deal with people. Which is the most rewarding thing when you get good people. And it's not the most rewarding thing when you deal with bad people that just... They don't care. They ain't got no God in them. Um... Hmm. But I think having like I we have we have somebody that's going to come on the podcast and he has a uh, a pest control business, right? And then two, I have a mentor that uh, friends of my father that he had a pest control business. So look at that! What a win-win to um, bring somebody on. You know, I was so dressed up. I had a, a beautiful suit on today at church. <sighs> I should have just worn that, but I couldn't. I couldn't eat food in that after church. It had gotten super messy. But it's going to be nice to have a mentor and somebody else, and just the whole thing. Uh, coming together and you know I'd like to have other other people that have had roofing companies and be able to have them on and the Osteen Bros uh, which brings me to our first commercial break here brought to you by 
Osteen's Load and Go. If you need a dumpster and you are in the Florida area, you're going to want to reach out to Sean Osteen. Let me get you a phone number. Osteen Load and Go. Boom. Osteen's Load and Go. Leesburg, Florida. Five star rating. Can we get that on the camera? Five star rating. What do you think? He's got one, two reviews to get the five. He's got 248 reviews with a five star rating. Yeah, Doing pull up things. Pull up the little. It's a big camera up there. Shout out. Shout out to us. Look at those. Look at all those. Right? My guy. And it's not Joel Osteen. No. Not to be confused with Joel Osteen. Um, if we were better prepared, we'd have the Osteen back. Yeah, a little, little bit of both. We would call it roof and little Osteen's load and go. But if you need a dumpster rental or you need a junk removal, you call 407-988-5341. You talk to Sean um, or his brother or his wife on there, and they're going to take care of you. And, you know, one of the biggest things I love, they'll put a tarp underneath the dumpster. Right there. Right there. You're going to save so many headaches doing that. And that's the other part, too. Um, a lot of roofing and construction guys are just like, hey, where's the dumpster? Is it here yet? Can I have it? I just ordered it. Plan ahead. Plan. It's just like roofing. You just plan things ahead, right? These guys are dependable too. And these guys are dependable. And if they can get it there that day, they'll try. Okay, but but they run a tight ship. Uh, also check out Osteen's Racing. We sponsor that. And Osteen and I served together in the United States Marine Corps. 3-3 three, three, America's Battalion. May it rest in peace because it no longer exists. We were too hardcore and too rowdy and they shut it down. Um, so, shout out to all the real ones out there. Um, gonna definitely have him on the podcast. He was supposed to be on the podcast the other day. This could have been us. I was dressed up real nice. But, but, but we had a lot of fun. It was a good day. Um, yeah, it was a kind of a rough day. Yeah, got the news. Um, rest in peace to Uncle Mike. Rest in peace to Uncle Mike, man. 75. Took his last breath. Da. Veteran as well. Veteran as well. What a guy. And he was in Vietnam in 1969, uh, which was a very much a peak time during the war. The guy was in a train derailment. He had a Purple Heart. Um, self made. Self made dude. Drove all around St. Pete in a scooter, smoking a stogie. And uh, oh, yeah, him and I got into some good times. For sure. Um, Heart of Gold, you know, helped us out um, a ton. I lived with them a couple times in my life. Um, he will be missed. So, yeah. I'm going to go through all the photos. I got a photo I pulled up next to him one day. <laughs> He's got a stogie riding a scooter with like a bag and stuff. And I took a picture of that. It's in my phone somewhere. I'll send that out to the fam. But uh, yeah, yeah, tough stuff. Something we can all relate to. Um, but you know, he started his own business. And special shout out to him. I know we got a funeral coming up. Back to Rochester, New York. Probably the only thing that would bring me back to Rochester, New York. Um, have you do a roof while you're out there? Oh yeah. Yeah. I need that. A, a nice two story cedar <laughs> roof. Yeah. Alright, yeah. Bring um, 
surgical area. You know, we could talk to the roofing crew in Buffalo and see what they would do. <laughs> yeah, we'll get it done for you, Calvin. Name you can trust. No, hey, if, if we can make it happen, we can make it happen. Um, Rochester, New York. Ay, ay, ay. If you have time, Google the rat mural of Rochester, New York. It's disgusting. I parked my car downtown once, and I looked up, and I saw this mural of two rats, and I immediately thought, Oh my goodness, children are going to see this. Ch uh, children are going to cover the... Is this a prank? Is this a disgusting, perverted prank? Nope. Tax dollars paid for this mural of two rats. Google it. I hope it's gone. It's got to be gone by now. <sighs> That's Rochester for you. Going down the toilet. It's already down the toilet. It's already down the toilet. It's out to the sewer. It's out to pasture. Take that. Take that cow out to pasture. You're getting a little rough on them, aren't you? I mean, Kodak failed. The weather's garbage. The food is uh, food's pretty good. Garbage plate. But the depression is rampant. Number two for stolen cars. Is Rochester, New York, per capita? Also, so very high also arson. Leave your keys in the ignition. High arson rate. It's not illegal. Yeah. Just what a place to live. But hey, special shout out to Osteen's Load and Go. If you need a dumpster, um, or you just need somebody to talk to, give Sean a call. Great guy. He's <laughs> <laughs> just getting talk called. Johnny. You call him just to talk to him, Johnny. Hey. Uh, just, just need someone to talk to. I just heard you were a good guy. Someone was at a bathroom stall. He loves uh, rest stuff. I'm going through my fourth divorce, man, and I just don't know if I can. <laughs> she wants everything, man. She's taking the kids, the house, the car. I got nothing. Alright, well, I lost my. Chat GBT notes. 37, 38 minutes. 38 minutes. We're going to do an hour? No, we're going to do six. Oh, shit. I didn't press your folder. Did you? Got him. Got him. <laughs> we're starting over. It's. Is it 9 o'clock? It is 11 Ooh. Well, hey, we got a podcast in this weekend. Look at that. And there's no swear words, but you did you did say a swear word. We're gonna try to edit that out. That they could hear that we were gonna keep, you know. That's going in the swear jar. You can't you can't not use the swear jar. We made that point for a reason. Alright, um I gotta re ask Chad GBT. No, but that's sure. rough that's rough that's rough construction. Take a look. Sweatpants and a shirt that I wore today. Uh, good times. I'm going to watch this podcast and be like, Quit saying, uh. Quit saying, um. 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 Hey, college students. <laughs> Fellow comrades. You, you guys know where the. You know where the good drugs are? <laughs> All right. What's your exit message here? We got him. Uh, Close the banner. Look at the front camera. Uh, just uh, forming trust and relationship. That's how you pick a good contractor. Get us some questions. I'll get some questions. Oh, I'll get some I'm gonna, I'm gonna DM them. I'm gonna DM. I'm gonna make a picture. Yeah. If you have a question, we're gonna get to it. We're going to get you covered. If you have a suggestion, Call hey, uh, don't wear sweatpants. Yeah, talk to Osteen. 
Don't wear sweatpants. Comb your hair a and little bit. She's a live dog and not a dead one. She's fine. No dogs were harmed in the making of this film. That's not bad either. That's not bad either. But that's some of the stuff we're, that we're going to bring up. Uh, the beauty of construction, the reason I, I got into construction because you get the pride right there. The roof is garbage. You tear it off. You put a new one on. You take a look back and you go, wow. Instant gratification, right? You know, I was my other career path would, would, would probably be a doctor, but they're not they're not solving problems left and right. I mean, you're hey, you got terminal cancer and here's some oxycontin. I got a drug problem. Also, watch Painkiller on Netflix. Good, good solid information. Definitely a solid one. That. Okay, land the plane. Good stories. Uh, gonna have good mentors on, and then other people that are rising and trying to get their own thing started, or people that have started, or people that are having problems in their business, or things that they're gonna run into. What else was I gonna talk about here? Yeah, God, freedom, family, farm, goals, things to accomplish. It's a pretty good podcast, I'd say. Yeah. Say good night to the to the folks uh, at home. And then we're gonna have an outro song as well. Yeah. I think that's key. It's gonna be sung by Megan Thee Stallion. Yeah, which we have uh, her on retainer. Covered. Yeah. It's uh. It's gonna be something sweet. That's the first one in the books. I gotta in say. The books. I gotta say. Say good night, rough, rough yeah. construction. Instant gratification right there. Okay, well, signing off with uh, Macaulay Roofing. Oh, there you go. You're saying, oh, too much. <laughs> and, you, and, <laughs> and you don't mind things. <laughs> Instantly canceled racism. Yeah, this is the Rough Construction Podcast. And prepare for the next one. Coming up this weekend.